Can you say a few words about the book you have written? Well, I started from a certain yoga style, and but I didn't agree with that, and gradually, because I I practiced with students on a very intensive level and I saw that yoga wasn't sufficient to release the tension in their lives, in their bodies. So I didn't agree and I started to change the way of teaching by just looking at them. Is it logic what they're doing? And gradually, step by step, I started to develop tools, I started to develop another perspective in teaching. I mean, in critical alignment, maybe you see a trikonasana similar or pretty similar on a superficial level to other styles of yoga, but the way to, to reach that pose is totally different. It comes from relaxation, not from willpower. And um, at a certain moment, I developed so much that I thought, well, maybe it's worth to put it on paper. And um, because I think it's really different and uh, although it is a pretty complex style I thought well maybe all the loose ends come together when we start to write and one of my students Weinand um, which was a very good friend of mine he was a, neuro, uh, a, a neurobiologist um, he was a brain researcher and he was a professor so he was used to work with large texts. I'm a practical man, so I say things and I try to bring it all together, but in writing it's a different story. And I was so fortunate that he offered me his energy and his, um, uh, and his time in order to work on the book, which is called Critical Alignment Yoga. Um, I felt there was some jewel inside me, but he cut it out, me, and together we found out the, 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 the strength of critical alignment. Thanks to him, um, we finally finished that book after five years' work. And I also heard that Ayengar commented on the book, is that right? Well, I sent a comment to copy to Mr. Iyengar and actually I, I come from the Iyengar style and um, he uh, replied very fast and he complimented me on the book. Uh, he said this is beautiful, uh, it's the alignment of the body but sir uh, please think about the alignment of the brain as well and um, I was happy with his response um, and also because I already started, the book is basically related to the anatomical, how to move without willpower. Um, but immediately after finishing the book, I started to work on the psychological part of yoga, the meditative part of yoga. And um, actually, um, he gave me the advice and I was already, already working in that field. So I thanked him for his reply and I told him I was already working on the alignment of the brain. <laughs>